that has been done. Davidson to the Mendelssohn, that in and Hannon comes out with it. And Kildare cleared their line, but only into the waiting hands of Chris Donovan in the middle of the field. And Donovan off his right foot, trying to find a corner forward inside. Has he succeeded in doing so? The kick is coming in. Is this going to uh, be the opening score of the game? It's over the bar. And uh, Fickle into the man that knocked that one over after Brillage. And uh, Stephen Manning unable to stop the stairs by taking my running in the hand. We'll watch the ball being played forward. And it's walking aside by Jeremy Hurley into the corner. Fickle Lynch trying to get on it. It's very over, so leading the point and no score. It comes to team captain Eamon Collins. Collins picking a lovely ball up as well as Chris Otterman. Chris Otterman played this across the zone. Manning the right, Manning the right face. As Manning shows, but the goalkeeper is equal to the challenge and uh, brilliant save. Here we Here we are. Donovan takes the kick off his right foot. Where does this one go? Can it sail over the ball? It's just be a line ball to the Valley Roversman and the line ball coming in. Dennis Collins playing it up into the corner. Where it's won over there by team captain and the team captain is Eamon Collins. Collins is moving on his way in, driving forward. And can he put it onto his fist? I wonder if he does put it onto his fist. It's over the ball from Collins. Can be fisting the ball over the bar. The ball goes to pass midfield, running out with there, but it's cleared out by Ty Burke. Burke is his foul, Jimmy Hurley, and Hurley uh, put the trigger with his right foot and gets it down into the corner here. And there's a race on here where Huey Dunn trying to get inside Stevie Kent. He succeeded to a lesser degree and gives that, uh, well, I won't say lesser credit, but he got in as far as Fika Lynch. That'll be good enough for him as Lynch is driving his way forward, kicks it off his right foot, but again, uh, indicating that uh, the. Uh, on that occasion they had a glorious opportunity again as Valley Rovers working forward the foul being committed an opportunity a slotted one from the uh, 45 an opportunity for him to extend the Valley Rovers lead as he looks up at post in front of him and uh, he'd be hoping to uh, strike it off his right it's right he's got it over the bar and the second one for O'Donovan on the night first 45 and now a three and he gives us an opportunity to tell you the score after uh, five minutes of play it's Valley Rovers who lead on the scoreline of four points and no score without a bride as Maron strikes it across here coming uh, across and it's uh, cleared out there and uh, well worked down the line was Ronan Lehan got into it and he gives it down to Manning and Manning give it back to Lehan and Lally had then the fist pass forward up the line to Johnny Holly Holly off his uh, right foot and then he lets it down trying to find a man that's in the foul position he does find him and Collins Collins has space in front of him he put onto his right foot he makes a run for it and uh, he's still putting his way forward losing position he may get it back though being well mapped over there still moving in putting it onto the left foot would seem to be the thing to do he does put it onto the left foot and it's over the bar for Collins second and uh, positioning himself and then he comes back it was Jeremy McCarthy Jeremy McCarthy running into a little bit of trouble and then the fist pass coming in on the fist coming in and uh, is there anyone at home I wonder Paddy O'Donovan is the guy that's tuned in out there and I'll tell you one thing he has a good ball after being sent aside to Monaghan and Monaghan playing it off as far as Davy White and White a lovely ball an opportunity goal on here surely and the ball is in the back of the net after a bit of move the man that got him was Maya Hemp the Scalara from the uh, considerably and Kildare we are back in it now big time and the man that has it on him is Peter O'Brien the midfielder O'Brien playing it up as far as Tom Monaghan Monaghan and uh, he lays it off quickly as far as uh, Andrew O'Brien and O'Brien was grabbed surely was he outside the square or inside and the referee isn't there he's heading for the penalty spot it's a penalty to kill Dowry and as Andrew O'Brien comes and takes this one he'll be striking off his right and left he strikes it and it goes in right underneath the diving body of Alan Cook and the ball in the back of the net and uh and the kick out on its way from Alec Quicker decides to leave it long on this occasion. A real moment now for Belly Rovers to shine after a concession of scores there. Coming forward is Ronan Lehan. Lehan giving it as far as uh, own Manning. 45 metres out from the Kildare goal. Slows it up a little bit. Maybe trying to find somebody. The pass inside to Osfi Grilling. But I think there's too much of a connection with his right foot. He can. And the back of the net. What a goal by Fee Grilling. Oh, an absolutely powerful drive. If in the Premiership, it'd be on 80,000 plus a week. Decide to use the right now. And a massive kick inside. This could be real dangerous. Alan Quirk comes and collects it and Alan Quirk is the Valley Rovers goalkeeper works it out to the roving Jeremy Hurley Hurley up in the corner back position he gives it to Ray O'Donovan and O'Donovan a real stylish footballer and Hurley coming out and playing the ball as far as David Lynch affectionately known as a digger in some quarter and now it's coming forward and good play over there by Dennis Collins from Valley Handel and Collins getting a slap for his trouble Sony up with the lip and uh, maybe he gives the ball to Kevin Canty running alongside him he decides to do that this is a good play by Canty will he give it back to Collins he does and Collins can put it onto his left foot but uh, dropping the ball in his far as Fico Lynch and Lynch goes in a bit of a travel and he strikes it off his right foot and then over the bar and it's over the bar from Fico Lynch after a good pass inside from Dennis Collins the game is, is only two points in it anyone's game but I think the, this, the, quick, the quick fire pass by the Valley Rovers have them in front of this stage ball is broken down by John Burke but only into the hands of a very impressive Andrew O'Brien and O'Brien is coming forward a strong football and a lovely pass inside the start as Eamon O'Connor O'Connor leading by example and driving forward off his left foot still let it off his foot and what a driving point an inspirational score coming from the centre half back Eamon O'Connor in the 25th minute of the 25 metres out from their own goal from uh, the uh, Kildare goal the line ball is taken backwards and Dennis Collins is the man that's moving forward uh, Collins in 
Coin a little bit of a solo run. Give it as far as Kemp Canty. We have three minutes of injury time. Canty playing it low on the ground over there as far as Jeremy Holly. These are all Valley Rovers. Made a point between the Valley Rovers enjoying that point lead at the moment. As Eamon Collins, the team captain, gathers it out of the corner. He gives a pass inside. And uh, we'll see who's going to gather this one. Oh, and Manning is the man that has it. And Manning has been crowded and there's going to be a free as he strikes it rather nonchalantly. And over the bar from Huey O'Donovan for his second point in free. Quarter to the nine on the Saturday. But um, as I said, still no score. The first score, which whichever team is going to get it, will be crucial in the second half. Yeah, and the scoreboard remains as we say as it was at halftime. One goal and seven to two goals and two as a long free down the uh, line. Breaking out though and uh, it's gathered forward by Valley Rovers once again. Jeremy Hurley getting the ball into the final third of the final quarter of the pitch. That's where the promise is to rise for Valley Rovers. Can they change on this occasion? Chris O'Donnell uh, releasing the pass inside and Huey Donovan cutting, uh, Raymond Collins cutting his way in. He was grounded. The referee says yes and the free will be in. Will Collins take this and leave it to the sharpshooter that is Huey O'Donovan. Watch this free to be taken by O'Donovan and already uh, striker of uh, three scores in this match can he make it four I wonder the Valley Rovers lads falling and hoping that he will where does this one go I wonder we wait for the white flag and the white flag will arrive for the uh, first score in the uh, second half a bid to uh uh, regain or uh, win this uh, intermediate championship remember they won it once away back in 1981 they would like to set the uh, add to that particular title they have two adult uh, f football titles in the club Valley Rovers still waiting for their first and uh, their uh, uh, record that football and holding was played in the uh, Parish of Inishan in Nakavilla at the very, very start of the last century. The kick is coming in. Oh, what a drive by Kilnowry and over the bar. And Quirk, where's this one going to land? I wonder. They rise, Fred, and they rise. And they being Chris O'Donovan. Oh, lovely pass from O'Donovan. And as far as Jeremy Hurley. Hurley driving forward. The Valley Rovers man cutting inside. He's the centre half forward. Then he gives a kick pass inside. As far as uh, John Burke. Burke gathers. Done a lot of donkey work for this team. And then he gives it to Canty. Who Canty decides to burst his way forward. He gives a pass out to Chris O'Donovan. O'Donovan goes ground. And he was trying to shoot off his left foot. The referee was right up there with it. I'm sure that he's going to cut somebody from uh, uh, from Kildare for that one. But the free will be in. And that means that Huey O'Donovan will be called over to take it. But a good move by Valley Rovers. And there are uh, any changes there on the Kildare side, I think they are deciding to make uh, one switch, and which he certainly will make a con uh, contribution in this match. As Kildare ring the changes, and the man to make way is Shane Fitzgerald over the bar from Huey O'Donovan, strikes that off his right foot, and it's O'Donovan's uh, fifth score of the night in a tally that has now reached 1 9 for Valley Rovers, two goals and three for the uh, North Cork side Kildare, and we 11 minutes, almost 11 minutes gone in the second half. Well struck free by Huey Dunham. Around the uh, danger area, remember Kildare with it. Well, they've now three in the full forward line as the sweeper is. Uh, Valley Rovers decide to use a sweeper. Who's going to gather it here? And Kevin Canty is the man that tails all with it. And Canty comes out and decide the fact that he got a fair block there. No, up the line they go, and the Avengers carry it forward as Fico Lynch. Lynch is moving forward and giving the pass out as far as uh, Chris O'Donovan. And O'Donovan can leave it inside now as far as Owen Manny. Manny putting on the brakes a little bit and then kick it off his left foot. It's a drive from Manny. It is over the bar from Owen Manny. What a score from Manny as he shoots it over his opening score of tonight's game. It comes 22 minutes into the second half and the scoreboard now leads one ten to Valley Rovers, two goals and three to the Kildare men, four between them, Jim. Sweeping move by Valley Rovers, Kevin Kent. 23 minutes gone in the second half. It's one goal and ten to two goals and three. Will it have to be taken again, I wonder? I would imagine it, it will as uh, we uh, check and uh, see how uh, everything is uh, going here in the out position of the commentary box. And Phil is getting wrapped up in wire, none of them electric yet. And uh, the atmosphere out there, though, and this particular uh, vineyard right now is tension spelt with a capital T. The sideline ball in the middle of the park driven forward once again by Andrew O'Brien. And the ball breaking inside, running out on the middle. It's no Leo Donovan. Oh, Donovan was grounded and the free will be out to the man from Cora in the uh, northern territory of the Inishannon Parish. And uh, will Kevin Canty take it once again? I wonder. He has Fico Lynch outside him, but he decides to give it to the man who got the point a couple of minutes ago. Oh, Manning, the tie ball. Tyke Burke pass inside as far as John Burke, the end related hero. And now Burke drives it with the right foot, trying to find Jeremy Holly, who has moved in here and out a little bit of juice. He gives the ball now as far as Fico Lynch, and Lynch laying it off as far as uh, Manning, and Manning strikes it off his left foot. But the goalkeeper is equal to the challenge, and the goalkeeper works his way out. This is a good play by Kildare, the ball dropping shot three times, and drop shot into his hands tonight. And certainly another worrying statistic for Valley Rovers. And the ball is being won back there, we'll see 
who's going to win this one? I'll tell you the man that has it, Kildare worked their way out. And again they move up with Eamon O'Connor, who got that great drive a couple of minutes ago. He gives it into Peter O'Brien. O'Brien is on the move, there are four between them. And O'Brien then lays it outside and the kick come in from the left corner back. And the ball is coming inside. The referee not blowing any whistle. The ball is on the back of the net as Mike Monaghan finishes it. And that's a 35 second half minutes gone. Three goals and three points to Kildare. One goal and ten to Valley Rovers. A single point between them. And certainly now the bit between a point between the sides. And there you watch. It's Valley Rovers who are enjoying that point lead. But there is more. The Kildare men as White goes to ground. What can he do? I wonder. The referee says that he's awarding a throw in ball. Uh, 45 metres off on the Valley Rovers from the Kildare goal. My apologies if I cause your cardiac rhythm to be out a little bit. We check in a second and the ball has been whipped in between a player from either side. Standing underneath it is Chris O'Donovan and a uh, Kildare man that ends on the cause with Andrew O'Brien. It's move up the line as Spike gets on the end of it. Can he gather it? I wonder. Will he gather it the second time of asking? He'll play out and he gives a fist pass out as far as uh, John Burke. And John Burke puts it onto his left foot. The left foot from John Burke has got it over the bar. I wonder. We wait for the flag and John Burke has kicked a wonderful point. Over the bar. Manufactured by Keith White. He made his championship debut at the uh, mature age of 27 years of age. That was against McToom a while back. And we come and check the watch and there are 29 second half minutes gone and a two point lead they say the worst of all as Kildare have gathered it and good play by them as they walk it up the line this is a brilliant ball by them as they carry the ball forward the man has it is Eamon O'Connor O'Connor driving down two points between the Valley Rovers and joined the two point lead I think it's O'Connor I may be wrong on that he's still moving in he's nailed it off to a player outside who has a good left foot as well and he moves in but the ball has been taken away from him but we give it back and Monaghan has it this is Tom Monaghan and Tom Monaghan a lovely crossfield ball here we'll tell you who's going to take it is it John McCarthy he's thinking about uh, gathering it John McCarthy gathers it these are Kildare two points between the sides what excitement the trip put in but it did walk on a drive from McCarthy and over the bar and the margin is down one more time to a single point and we are in the 29th we have uh, the 30 minutes have elapsed nobody is thinking about exit nobody is thinking about premature or immature evacuation and nothing like that is happening tonight as the green and white and the blue and white of the respective clubs are sticking it here to the very end the scoreboard will tell you it's won by Fico Lynch as Valley Rovers enjoy the two point lead oh and Manning has it for them Manning going in a solo run laying it off as far as Lynch what can Lynch do with it the kick is blocked dropped down by Fico Lynch or by what my Fico Lynch but by Stevie Kent Two points between the sides and the ball comes as far as Kevin Canty. Canty is driving his way forward and he lets it outside as far as Owen Manning. Manning now turns back as far as Canty once again as Canty decides to turn inside. Still held it up and then the pass outside as far as James Young. And Young kicks it off his left foot and what a drive by James Young. It's a kick that reminded me of a give it or not. There is still time in it. There are three inside in the Valley Rovers goal. But that has been joined by a few more outside. Is he going to float it up? I wonder. The kick is coming in. It's gathered by a man in blue as he goes for the scrum. And there's a scrum situation. And the referee, is he calling for it? He's going to throw it in on the uh, 20 metre line. And uh, this certainly is some operation. The referee is throwing it in 20 metres off on the Valley Rovers goal as they defend a two-point lead in the county intermediate football championship. A Kildare man boring his way through. He's walking, still trying to get in as he's been surrounded by Valley Rovers men. And a pass coming in, a great drive. And then it is inside again as they still move forward. There's men collapsing all over the place. And the kick is in and is it over the bar? It is over the bar. And is it over the bar? I would imagine we wait for this one. It's going to be a free out. It's a free out on this particular Saturday night. And the scoreboard remains 1-12 for Valley Rovers. To three goals and four points for Kildare. And is the ref going to have much more? We are 35 minutes. We have 36, I'll tell you. We are a few seconds shot of the 36 minute. And the ball has been won by Kildare once again as they sail forward. And such of that elusive goal. They think they have to go for goal, I wonder. As Canty gets in. And Canty bellows it out over the sideline. Canty is an Inishana man. It's a line ball to value to... Uh, Kildare as they look for that line ball and the man standing over to take it is David Roach he's going to head it in there are players down injured and there are a couple of belts being drawn it ain't any time for belting tomorrow we'll do that and the ball has been floated inside and it's caught 
another man underneath it and walk his way out and what a catch and it's all over and Billy Roberts after all the years of waiting the long wait is over and they've been crowned intermediate champions their first adult title in football gym what a night and what a game 